After days and days of pressure from aid on your side, a big change when it comes to nursing homes and long-term care facilities. Today, the governor announced the state will publicly say which facilities in the state have cases of COVID-19. So here in Tampa Bay, the Pinellas County area is leading the way with 25 facilities with confirmed cases. Hillsborough County has four facilities with COVID-19. Intersize Justin Shecker is live for us tonight in Tampa with this story. He's outside of one of those locations listed in Hillsborough County. Justin. Rod, good evening. There are still questions about how many COVID-19 cases are at the Inspired Living at Tampa community and more than 300 long-term care facilities across Tampa Bay and the state. But this change of heart from the governor to publicly name these facilities comes after eight on your side pressed him and state health officials for answers. I told the Surgeon General from the beginning that we want to put as much information out um, as you can. Eight on your side viewers have voiced their concerns. The governor needs to step up to the plate. They're not being 100% transparent with us. You've told us the state of Florida needs to name nursing homes and long term care facilities with positive coronavirus cases. So disturbing as to what's going on in our nursing homes. And now this is affecting my family. A few people taken to the hospital last week came back positive. And they're not really telling the employees. After weeks of refusing to release that information, the governor is now directing the health department to publish a list. Necessary for public health uh, to release the names of the facilities where a resident or staff member has tested positive for COVID-19. Statewide, more than 1,600 patients and staff members have tested positive. The worst outbreak in Tampa Bay forced the evacuation, one by one, of residents from the Seminole Pavilion Rehab at Freedom Square. At least three patients have died, and nearly 40 have tested positive to go along with 13 employees. She's scared to death. The poor woman is scared to death. She doesn't understand why her family can't even see her. Dennis Keaton's 103-year-old mom has been in the hospital since being removed from Freedom Square Thursday. For him, the governor's announcement is too late. He would have tried to move his mom sooner had he known of COVID-19 cases where she lives. So nobody knows until all of a sudden, oh my God, everybody's got it. Now you're relative has it that probably shouldn't have gotten it, shouldn't have been exposed to it if they just would have been more upfront from the beginning. And more than half of the 102 COVID-19 cases at facilities in Pinellas County are tied to that outbreak at Freedom Square. And the executive director says he expects more patients and staff to test positive there. Uh, meanwhile, here in Hillsborough County, fortunately, there have been no deaths linked to the four locations we learned about tonight. We posted a list of all these long-term care facilities in Florida with coronavirus cases with this story on the WFLA app and our website. Reporting live in Hillsborough County, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.